Welcome back to the Wise Monkey. Please subscribe and share. We'll show you how to check a seized caliper and how to replace it. There's a trick uh, how to do it without losing a lot of uh, brake fluids. So first of all, uh, jack the car up. So it's in the uh, it's in the uh, this one. Uh, <clears throat> as you drive, this wheel becomes hot. So something is wrong with these brakes. It's not releasing calipers is seized caliper, I guess. Now if it's the rear then so anyway uh, both wheels are off the ground. Now should be able to move it easily. It's going but not going as well and very tight actually this side a lot easier so this is the caliber that's failing so we'll uh, take this wheel off and replace the caliber so this is the trick so you need a a sheet of uh, it's a garbage bag actually make sure there's no leak it's pretty strong and uh, one uh, rubber band this is the additional uh, item you need apart from the uh, the uh, ratchet and uh, nuts and uh, uh, sorry uh, the um, uh, wheel wrench and all these kind of things anyway the uh, this is the new caliber you can also buy one for like 15 20 bucks from uh, uh, used uh, auto parts if it's uh, good enough it's good enough because these are fairly expensive this uh, costs like $150 so take the wheel off now this is a Honda Pilot and for most of the Hondas RAC and Pilot MDX Acura RDX all these kind of vehicles you need a 12 millimeter to open this and 14 millimeter to open this now this one is the brake line as soon as you open all the fluid gonna come out you don't want the fluid to come out fully and empty the reservoir because it's a lot of work to bleed it again you have to bleed it but we want to reduce it as much as possible show you how loosen this 12 millimeter up and down and also loosen this one a little bit and tighten it again not tight tight but just snugly so that there is not no brake fluid dripping out of it so once we take this out we can still uh, loosen it if you don't loosen it now later on once these screws are out caliper is out it's tough to loosen it sometimes now take this Caliper hold on holes off both uh, top and down or two and then pry the pry this uh, out. You can pry it out with a flat head or a crowbar top bottom caliper comes out don't let it fall because it can actually crack this brake line just visually inspect there is no brake fluid leak and uh, from the line itself now the new caliper we just found out that it actually the inner piece so not just the uh, top part so this send the uh, uh, enter piece in that case we'll uh, instead of removing this part we'll be using uh, taking this enter whole caliper assembly out so the two hold down bolts are at the back here one here one at the bottom right there take those two out those are uh, 17 millimeters 
17 millimeters at the back so we need 17 and 14 for this one now before you take the caliper out the bolts are out take this brake line off quickly take this brake line out wrap it with this polythene and this uh, rubber band such a way that you don't lose too much brake fluid from there okay I'll quickly show it now brake fluid starts to come out so you gotta do it quickly I'll try to well now I took the bolt out and basically holding it with my finger it's barely dripping here but slowly it's gonna dr uh, drain a lot of brake fluid from there so quickly I'm gonna wrap it with the polythene and such a way that it doesn't look uh, lose much brake fluid let's try that okay this is how quickly turn it put it over and there's a nice pocket it's full of brake fluid here before you lose a lot of fluid tight like this okay this is a trick we have to bleed it no matter what but it'll be less less of the work and we don't want too much air in the ABS pump and in the system so this is how to prevent it now I'll uh, put a new caliper uh, on this one and reuse the old shoes if you need to put new brake rotors and shoes these are fine you can do that at the same time pry this out it's really jammed because <coughs> that's why we're replacing it so it might be a bit of a work to take it out now once the caliper is installed, bolts tightened, and we'll put the brake line on. Usually there's one washer that goes first, but uh, newer ones they put two washers actually. So two washers came with the new one. And um, <coughs> so we'll put the washer right there, and then the, uh, we'll open it and quickly uh, put it back. And then we'll bleed using a 10 millimeter we'll bleed the brake so we reinstalled it quickly took that uh, cover off and put it back put one washer on each side uh, try tighten it properly uh, this are these are copper washers so they're gonna break down a little bit and uh, seal uh, so uh, for false uh, torque is a common problem for these kind of things. Make sure it's tight enough, but not over tight. And recheck after you bleed the uh, uh, brake and uh, recheck. So we'll basically <coughs> keep it loose a little bit and let the brake fluid come out slowly. Yeah, it will start to drip here. It started dripping, so brake fluid coming, uh, kicking the air out make sure under the hood the reservoir is full so we'll uh, pop open the hood so there's the brake fluid reservoir let's open it so this is the thing it's barely lost any brake fluid it's almost full okay you can see that so we'll bleed it now and if we need we'll uh, fill it up a little bit but that tells that no air went in the ABS pump. We didn't fully drain that front left line. Okay.